What's up, YouTube and Twitch? We just made this character in like five minutes. Maybe not even that. Maybe like maybe like a couple less than that. The concept though is an old old build from years ago called Shatter Chuck, which was a cast on crit barrage character, right? Now they're buffing cast on crit next league instead of the 0.5 seconds that it currently is cooldown wise. It's going to be 0.15 seconds, so you'll cast over three times as quickly. So remember, this is pre-buff, but you can also use poets pens now because those didn't exist before. And they're fucking broken. So if you add two poets pens, so you're casting these spells like, you know, multiple times a second, four times a second, I think. And they're going to be casting whatever you want to put in your main six link setup. I'm using freeze pulse. Cast that as many times as you want a second. I think I'll probably be casting like 10 times a second next league. It's really dumb. I'm also wearing it in pulses because I didn't want to use a shock flask for my vink tires because I'm lazy. Um, but other than that, we just map with it and it works as is but it's really really squishy and really bad single target so keep that in mind this is not a min max version of all at all it's just a concept and it was called shatter chuck because it was cold crits same as this we are an assassin more or less the same skill tree as yesterday's video which was the ground slam cast on crit character the cock slam build this is cock spray ass bolt i think was the name the chat gave it but yeah standard poet spend using a unearthed body swap to move and then you're just using a bunch of cold spells, because why not? It's quite stupid. And it works. I'm using cast on crit kinetic blast, which is what the freeze pulses are coming from. And it really just hurts my eyes more than anything else. If you don't like this cold variant, you can swap to a fire variant in about two seconds. And now you're something else. What would you call this now? Burning cock spray? I don't know, dude. Oh, I'm gonna die. Please don't kill me. I'm doing the video. Right, we're good. I have cast on death portal right now, so but yeah, any spill, any spell, any projectile would work for this. Please stop murdering me. Burning cock spray. <laughs> it's a good name, I like it. But yeah, any any projectile spell would work. I was messing with Arctic Breath, Freeze Pulse, Frostbolt, Magmor was pretty funny, obviously. You have to have the MTX for all of your skills, otherwise it's not as fun. But um, yeah, no, we're functioning pretty well. What's my crit strike chance on this? 85% crit on a kinetic blast with a diamond flask. So I have like 99% effective crit. If I hit something with a kinetic blast, it should be casting freeze balls. You ate spicy food yesterday. Cock spray ass bowl. Burning cock spray ass bowl. Should I try to, I'm gonna try to name the video that and see if it gets demonetized. Burning cock spray ass bowl. It's a beautiful name. I can almost see parts of my screen at times, which means you know it's a good build. <laughs> and I'm not wearing any mirror items. It's all random garbage. The only thing I'm wearing that you probably won't have access to in League is the Legacy Big Towers, obviously. You won't have access to it, but you don't need it. Hello? Somebody's racing in my street. Great. Look at that single target. It's like three, maybe four. Yeah, if you can still see the ground, make sure you get more MTX. That's the only real solution. Right, I poet spent. What the fuck am I doing trying to move? If you had a Warlord's Mark on Hit Ring, I think you'd be a lot better off than me. I'm using an Assassin's Mark on Hit Ring. You can also just go Dual Curse and wear one of each. It's totally up to you. But look at this disgustingly bad single target. It's incredible. You're vomiting spells, but you do no damage. <laughs> Unless... She teleports against a wall, then I think I'll do a lot more damage. No, maybe not. I don't know. It works. It's just bad. And that's okay. Are you ready for this beautiful skill tree build guide thing? I don't know what you call this part. So we're assassin because, you know, lots of crit, free power charge generation, even more crit, crit multi-base crit for everything. It's great. And then for poet spend, you just stack attack speed and projectile stuff, right? So that's all we got. Bunch of attack speed, bunch of crit stuff, more projectile damages. Jewel sockets. I needed accuracy because we're not using hits can't be evaded weapon, obviously. I guess you could use one poet's pen and it like goes a day, but fuck that. This is our only form of defense, acro phase acro, and then we just get a bunch more damage. Life nodes, crit crit multis, power charges, life nodes, crit crit multi. More life nodes. Are you seeing a pattern here? More life nodes. Some more life nodes. Some damage nodes. Power charges. Life nodes. Attack speed. Incredible. Super complex skill tree. All of the jewels are just random garbage from the last character. They're just attack speed multi basically uh yep mm -hmm. uh-huh more attack speed multi 
they're not right for this character at all. I would recommend crit for spells, crit, or crit multi for spells, for cold spells, elemental spells. Uh, what else can we get? Projectile damage, life, global crit multi, attack speed, attack speed while dueling, attack speed with one-handers, generic damage, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, make sure you, for your gear though, you're using two poets pens, because they're brokenly OP, and an impulses are your uniques. You don't have to use impulses, but I didn't want to get a shock flask, so you can use whatever chest you want. If you're struggling with crit, maybe get a base crit elder chest for attack so you can give your kinetic blast or barrage, whatever one you want to use, uh, some more crit. Other gear slots, other than the important things really are you need to have cooldown reduction on your belt, which requires shaper belt and shaper boots. You can get cooldown reduction up to 20% and up to 15% on boots. That's the only place on the, in the game that you can get cooldown reduction. It means that you can cast faster. Poet's Pen has, a, I think, like 0.5 second cooldown. And this has a, will have a 0.15 second cooldown. You can reduce that by 35%. So that's good. Rest of your gear is just rares though. Rare gloves, get some attack speed, resist life. If you get a Warlord's Mark on hit ring, great. With life resist, other ring, life resist, accuracy if you can need it. Same thing on your amulet, life resist. Helmet, life resist. Wow, what a surprise. Everything's life resist. Flasks, I'm using a basalt flask with freeze, diamond flask with bleed. Dying sun, because everything we're using is a projectile, so. A shitload of projectiles and then a big tars with lightning damage the spells if you want it um, in league I probably wouldn't recommend this because it doesn't have mana leech anymore so just get a warlord's mark on hit ring and then use like a life flask or a quicksilver or like I don't know haste of fate if you want more defenses and then a series promise for a bunch of extra chaos damage and leech it's a pretty simple character it's really dumb and it works with every projectile spell I like the shatter version better than this one it's just more fun. I think I'm gonna go die to Guardians now. That sounds like an exciting thing to do. Guardian, let's do, which one's like the easiest one to not die to? <laughs> as this character, hmm, I don't auto target and I'm squishy as shit. I'm gonna go with Phoenix. Phoenix seems better. If I can actually do this, I'll be impressed. Life AoE, AoE is probably bad. Temp Chains is bad. Ellie Reflect is bad. That's fine. Alright, let's see if we can do this. If we can manage to kill a Guardian on like a five minute build, I think we're fine. But it is Poet's Pen, so does it really count? It's Poet's Pen. I also am gonna fuck up my Atlas with by doing this, but it's okay. Try Gloomfang? If I was, yeah, you could like, you could spec into Gloomfang. Uh, what's it called? Chains, if you wanted. But again, it's just, it's like, do whatever you want with it. It's just a concept, right? You want to use this exact concept, the pace bin will be in the description of this YouTube video, but more or less just do whatever the hell you want. I didn't press a flask. And if it works, then great, it works. But if it doesn't work, you fucked it up and you should try again. Just change something. Hello, Lale, what's up? Do you like my garbage? Oh god, proximity shield's bad. I think if you had like a life gain, uh, what's, what's the shaper affix? Like life gain for each enemy hit by your spells. You could probably make this a lot better. You see the freeze pulses though? They're killing things before anything else hits them. It's kind of weird. Yep, Poet's Pen plus do whatever the hell you want. But next league we'll be casting even more freeze pulses, so it's much faster. It should help fix our single target. I think if I used actual support gems in my main six link my damage would be a lot better but that's dumb and i don't want to do that you could probably also do this build as any ascendancy maybe even you could go non-crit elementalist but then you can't cast on crit never mind go crit everything but just like make it fit right i think maybe scion assassin slayer would be good so you have some leech something defensively right and so you still have a lot of the base crit can't see what happens here. This is gonna take hours. Because <laughs> I can't target. <laughs> now you're an egg, motherfucker. Oh, oh god. god. Yeah, I, I, I echoed that statement. Oh god, why? I can't, like, if I target it. Hang on, let me take out the body swap. That way I can actually, you know, aim. This is some sick single target. I bet you've always wanted a build that can do two damage per second. Wookie Pixel, thank you for the Prime sub. Welcome one into the Egg Garden. God damn, dude. 
This is probably the best build I've ever made. It out DPS's Spider Queen by about four hours, so I think it's fine. I, used to, I think the last build I did it for Spider Queen, I just AFK'd in the in Phoenix and like alt and just like alt tab for the entire build good. This is just sad though. Mm. I could put in slower projectiles instead of GMP. I could also just not do the boss. Because like what the fuck. But next league this will be a much better single target. I don't think I'm casting any freeze pulses. I'm not critting enough. Where's my freeze pulse? There it is. There's one. Yeah, okay, so maybe you should use barrage for your single target applications. You can get a lot more casts per second. Let's go do that right now, in the middle of this. <laughs> Let me just recolor my chest piece real quick. Kinetic Blast was a good meme, but not good enough. Cast on crit, GMP, increase crits, freeze pulse. This cold pen is one of my weakest links here. Barrage, alright, so we need four green. Wow, incredible. Easy game. And probably not GMP, the single target. Do I have a slower proj? I do. Incredible. Alright, try this again. By using Frenzy? That would also work, yeah. I don't know if you can get enough attacks per second to use that. There's a lot more freeze pulses now. Uh, still not a crazy amount, though. Still no damage, but you get the point, right? <laughs> I think we need to do the, the uh, gem link stuff now. Pantheons don't matter because they're useless. Skill links! Uh, let's see, barrage, cast on crit, whatever the hell you want, after that. <laughs> I'm using freeze pulse, cold fed, GMP, increase crits. Actually, this is probably your main. Barrage, increase crits, cast on crit, and then insert random spells, right? Poets pen links, I'm using unearth, GMP body swap. I don't even know if I need GMP, but it just makes it so you can move. Other ones, GMP, Frostbolt, Arctic Breath. Again, any spells works here. And you're, yeah. Okay, other links, Castle Damage Taken, Immortal Call, Frost Bomb for reduced cold res, so I'm using cold spells. I have Ice Golem for the accuracy, because I need it a little bit. If you don't need accuracy, you can use a Lightning Golem for more cast speed, or more attack speed. If you don't need attack speed, you can just go over Flame Golem. Boots, I got a Blood Rage, Herald of Ice setup, and... My other aura is Anger. You could also use Herald of Thunder. All the Heralds. Just use every Herald. I have a Cast on Death Portal gem because uh, true softcore life, right? Obviously. Then I have Flame Dash Faster Casting and an actual self cast portal for when I'm not dead. Pretty solid overall. Would do again. If I had the 0.1 seconds cooldown on this right now, it'd be sick, but I do not. So I'm going to go keep dying to this boss, but. I'll just end this video here. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.